All right, uh, I'm going to keep in this little black and white. I don't know why. I guess I kind of like doing this for this, uh, these type of videos. So I have, what is a solution to an equation? So, you know, we talked about equations, the mathematical sentence, ah, when you have an equal sign. And it's true when you have your left and your right are equal to each other. So when we start introducing open sentences, that means I'm going to now start introducing variables. I'm going to have something that's going to look, hmm, uh, let's say x equals 3. So the solution to this equation is um, 3. Because it, when x is equal to 3, when I can plug in a 3 in for x, that now makes this equation true. And that's exactly what the solution of equation is, is what is the value of your variable or variables that's going to make your equation true. So let's take a look at something. And this you know, kind of works into when we start doing uh, one-step equations. And even sometimes two steps, a lot of students can start doing this in their head. So they want to bypass the stuff I'm going to talk about with our um, uh, operations of e equality. But it's very important for you, even though you can do it in your head, to still do the stuff we're going to be doing um, in some other videos of equality. But let's just take a look at it. Let's say I have x plus 5 equals 11. Okay. So what that means is my solution to this equation, when I add 5 to it, I get 11. So what is that number that's going to make that true? What number plus 5 will give me 11? And you could say, oh, well, the answer is obvious. It's going to be 6 because 6 plus 5 equals 11. Therefore, now my equation is true. So when, when you're trying to find the solution and they say solve, that's a big idea for you to find the solution. When you're looking for the solution, you're trying to see what is the value of your variable that's going to make your equation true. So there you go. Hope that helps.